Hello and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. Massive news in South African rugby with confirmation that the 2024 Curry Cup will go ahead with a new player welfare model confirmed um, between the SA Rugby and the Players Union and the Employers uh, Organization. Um, my players and all the various partners set to be officially signed off on Thursday, which will uh, incorporate a new sort of player welfare model um, that is specific to South Africa and will allow competitions like the Curry Cup to take place where previously it was not going to look possible due to uh, the mandatory eight-week break that all players are supposed to have to have. Um, so fantastic news for SA Rugby because they all have the Curry Cup and it will kick off in the July window as initially scheduled. Before we get into exactly what the situation is and what the chat is, please do smash a like on the video. Please do uh, subscribe to the channel as well. So there's been a bit of a standoff between uh, the my players and sort of the South African Rugby um, Employers Organization because of the mandatory rest time that uh, the sort of my players and players unions are advocate, um, advocating for um, rest basically for for the players. So apparently the the, the basically the, the rule or what basically what was supposed to be the rule is that there was going to be a mandatory eight week. A consecutive break for all players, official players who are contracted within South African rugby. Now, from a scheduling point of view, this does not line up because we have got the URC, which starts in September and ends in June, and the Curry Cup, which starts in July and ends in September. So it doesn't take a, a, a rocket science to work out that there's no eight week period where players will get that break. As a result, it looks like um, there was potentially going to be a situation where the Curry Cup was not going to incorporate majority of sort of the main players in certain squads. Um, and therefore, sort of almost become like a junior tournament, which was going to see sponsors putting out, which is not we're going to make it financially not viable. However, there has been a a compromise, and it looks like um, the Curry Cup, well, the Curry Cup will take place. Uh, so let's go through exactly what's what's been said. So a new deal, which is scheduled for final uh, sign off on Thursday, has acknowledged that a compulsory industry wide eight week shutdown is impossible to accommodate in a South African player Canada. Um, which um, has got two different hemispheres uh, in it. Um, with the South playing in the Canada that straddles the hemisphere, which is the straddles the hemisphere, the international franchise play through the SA summer and in the nine month long Vodacom URC, um, while the domestic three mock test and domestic seasons are rooted in the SA winter. So obviously, the three mock games also becoming uh, a major part of this. Um, they have agreed, however, since that, uh, they agreed accepting a 12 month season. While embedding player welfare strategies was the optimal way to address an internationally unique match scheduling challenge. Um, so over there, there will be a 12-month season, basically. So there was not going to be a 10-month season like we see in Europe, where, for example, players now at the end of June will have sort of July and August off before they return for the September season. Um, it says the agreement was brokered following arbitration of a dispute relating to mandatory rest periods for players. The arbitrator... Um, Will the players terms and conditions of employment require all contracted players to rest simultaneously for eight weeks? He also ruled that such rest periods will not contract to place, take place within each 12-month cycle. Uh, the New Deal, however, now provides for the following. Uh, structured, individualized eight-week rest periods for all players with formal notice periods when such breaks are to be taken. That's an important thing. Individual breaks. So you're not going to sit there and say, right, your entire squad has to now take eight, week off, so you, eight weeks off. You can say, this player will now be taking eight weeks off. This player or these players will now be taking eight weeks off. Um, it says, adoption of World Rugby player load guidelines, which are fi and finalization. Maintenance of a strict individual player load monitoring program. So in terms of how much are they playing games, how many games are they playing, what's their schedule looking like. Um, a broadened scope for the Joint Committee on Central um, Players uh, on contract of player safety and welfare and the utilization of the emergency committee to ensure effective implementation of the new arrangements. Uh, so basically, you know, it's, that's sort of the oversight on what is about to happen. Uh, adjust the travel arrangements for Vodacom URC EPCR teams for first of July, from 1st of July 2025. That's very important. That will be direct flights. I imagine that will be no long haul flights, no various different um, uh, options, for example, because from the 2025 July, we become a full member of EPCR. We are a full member of URC. We will therefore have money, basically, and therefore we'll be able to um, um, afford 
you know, the travel arrangements to sort of remove the the issues that we've seen with, you know, all those various different long haul flights, different, you know, squads going on different, different flights and arriving at different times and stuff like that. Um, so it says uh, the uh, the Curry Cup Premier Division will kick off as scheduled in the first weekend of July in a revamp format. So the format that was suggested in, in December. Um, and the first division will spring into action this weekend, this coming weekend. Three matches already scheduled for Saturday. Uh, so that's very exciting uh, in terms of we're going to get the, the, the Curry Cup. Now in terms of what the Curry Cup is going to look like, uh, the Premier Division of the, of, the, of the Curry Cup kicks off on the weekend of the 5th or 6th of July. The final will take place on the 21st of September. Um, it'll be staged over one and a half rounds, followed by two semifinals and a grand finale. It says the eight teams will be divided in, are divided into two pools of, of four um, based on last year's standings. Pool A will consist of Cheetahs, Bulls, Province, and Griffins. Pool B will be the Sharks, Pumas, Lions, and Requas. Uh, teams will play home and away within their pools and a single round of games against sides in the opposite pool. Uh, so rather than trying to play every single team home and away, you will play three teams home and away, six matches, and then the other four teams once, so 10 matches. Um, compared to what would have been 14 matches. Um, it then says the top two ranked teams in each pool progress into the semifinals and then the famous Curry Cup final on the 21st of September. Uh, so that is how the Curry Cup will happen. It will happen. That's how it will happen. Are we excited? You know, is this going to be a Curry Cup worth watching? Let me know down in the comments below. Smash a like on the video and subscribe to the channel as well. Um, I'm quite excited that we all get, we all have the Curry Cup. I'm very keen to see the type of players that play in it. That will give us really more indication of whether this is good or bad news or whether this is going to be feasible. But I want to know what your thoughts are in the comments below. And uh, we'll see you guys all next time.